Alien, Covenant is a 2017 American science fiction horror film directed by Ridley Scott and written by John Logan and Dante Harper, with a story by Michael Green and Jack Paglen. The film is a sequel to the 2012 film Prometheus, the second installment in the Alien prequel series, and the sixth installment overall in the Alien film series, as well as the third directed by Scott. The film stars Michael Fassbender, Catherine Waterston, Billy Crudup, Danny McBride, Carmen Ayogo and Demian Bashir, and follows the crew of a ship who land on an uncharted planet and make a terrifying discovery. Alien, Covenant premiered in London on May 4, 2017 and was released in the United States on May 19, 2017. The film received generally positive reviews, with most critics praising Fassbender's dual performance, and noting it as a return to form for both director Ridley Scott and the franchise. It has grossed $121 million worldwide. Equals equals plot equals equals. Peter Whelan speaks with his newly activated synthetic, who chooses the name David for himself, after looking at a replica of Michelangelo's statue of the same name. Whelan tells David that one day they will search for mankind's creator together. Many years later, in 2104, the colonization ship Covenant is bound for a remote planet, ORIGAE-6, with 2,000 colonists and 1,000 embryos on board. The ship is monitored by Walter, a newer synthetic physically resembling the earlier David model. A neutrino burst damages the ship, and kills some of, of the colonists. Walter orders the computer to wake the crew from stasis, but the ship's captain, Branson, dies when his pod malfunctions. As the crew repairs the damage to the ship, they pick up a radio transmission from a nearby unknown planet. Against the objections of Daniels, Branson's widow, succeeding Captain Orem decides to investigate, as the planet appears to be even better suited for colonization than ORIGAE-6 and the crew is reluctant to return to their stasis pods after witnessing their captain's demise. An expedition team descends to the planet's surface and tracks the transmission signal to a crashed engineer ship. While on the surface, security team members Ledward and Hallett are inadvertently infected with alien spores. Corrine, Orm's wife, helps the rapidly sickening Ledward back to the lander, where pilot Tennessee's wife, Maggie, quarantines them both inside the med bay. A neomorph bursts from Ledward's back, killing him, then mauls Corrine to death. Maggie tries to shoot the quickly growing creature but accidentally hits a gas tank, causing an explosion which destroys the lander and kills her. The neomorph manages to escape to the planet's surface while another such creature bursts from Hallett's throat, killing him. The two neomorphs attack the remaining crew members and kill Angkor. The crew manages to kill one of the aliens before David, a survivor of the Prometheus mission, rescues the crew and leads them to a city full of engineer corpses. David tells them that upon his and Dr. Elizabeth Shaw's arrival at the planet, their engineer ship accidentally released a black liquid bioweapon which killed the native population and that the ship crashed in the ensuing chaos, killing Shaw. As the crew members attempt to radio the Covenant for help, the surviving Neomorph infiltrates the city and decapitates Rosenthal, who was separated from the others. David attempts to communicate with the creature and is horrified when Orem kills it. At Orem's demand, David reveals that the aliens are a result of his experimenting with the black liquid to create a new species. He leads Orem to an incubation chamber and tricks him into being embraced by a face hugger, which implants Orem with an embryo. A Xenomorph soon erupts from Orem's chest, killing him. As the others search for Orem and Rosenthal, Walter confronts David after realizing that David had deliberately unleashed the black liquid upon the engineers. David explains that he believes humans are on the road to extinction and should not be allowed to colonize the galaxy. When Walter disagrees, David disables him and captures Daniels, revealing to her that he also murdered Shaw and used her corpse for his experiments. Walter reactivates himself and fights David, allowing Daniels to escape while Lope is attacked by the face hugger. Cole saves Lope before they are ambushed by the now mature xenomorph, which kills Cole. Tennessee arrives in another lander to extract Daniels, Lope, and Walter. They kill the xenomorph before docking with the Covenant, however, Lope had been implanted with another xenomorph, which bursts from his chest on the ship before quickly maturing and killing crew members Ricks and Upworth. With Walter's help, Tennessee and Daniels corner the creature in the Covenant's airlock and flush it into space. The Covenant resumes its trip to ORIGAE-6, and the surviving crew re-enters stasis. As Walter puts Daniels under, she realizes that he is actually David, but is unable to escape her stasis pod before falling asleep. Alone, David regurgitates two alien embryos and places them in cold storage alongside the human embryos, before using Walter's name to record a log stating that all crew members except Daniels and Tennessee were killed by the neutrino black at the beginning of the film. Equals equals cast equals equals. Michael Fassbender as David Aiden Walter, synthetic androids created by the Wayland-Yutani Corporation. David is an earlier made, 
prototype android who was formerly a crew member of the destroyed Prometheus and Walter is a newer model who assists the crew aboard the Covenant, Catherine Waterston as Daniel's Danny Branson, a terraforming expert aboard the Covenant, and the wife of the ship's captain, Jacob Branson, Waterston said she was well aware of the comparison that was going to be made between her and Sigourney Weaver's Ellen Ripley, but admits that she tried not to think about it too much while filming for fear of being intimidated, Billy Crudup as Christopher Orem, the first mate of the Covenant, Orem is a self-serious man of faith who believes their role on the covenant is an act of destiny, and he shares a contentious relationship with Daniels. Danny McBride as Tennessee Ferris, the chief pilot of the covenant. Demian Bishir as Sergeant Lope, Hallett's husband, the head of the security unit aboard the covenant. Carmen Ayogo as Corrine Orem, Christopher Orem's wife, a biologist aboard the Covenant, Amy Simetz as Maggie Ferris, the lander pilot, Tennessee's wife, Jesse Smollett as Ricks, Upworth's husband, Collie Hernandez as Upworth, the medic aboard the Covenant, Nathaniel Dean as Sergeant Hallett, Lope's husband, and a member of his security unit aboard the Covenant, Alexander England as Angkor, a member of the security unit, Benjamin Rigby as Ledward, a member of the security unit, Tess Howbrick as Rosenthal, a member of the security unit whose partner is in cryosleep during the mission, Uli Latukfa as Private, Cole, a member of the security unit, James Franco also briefly appears as Jacob Jake Branson, the captain of the Covenant and the husband of Daniels, Javier Botet portrays a xenomorph via motion capture, Goran D. Clute plays the role of both the neomorph and the xenomorph in costume and on set, equals equals production equals 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 development equals 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 in 2012. Prior to the release of Prometheus, director Ridley Scott began hinting at the prospects of a sequel. Scott said that a sequel would follow Shaw to her next destination, because if it is paradise, paradise cannot be what you think it is. Paradise has a connotation of being extremely sinister and ominous. Writer Damon Lindelof cast doubt on his participation, and said, if Scott wants me to be involved in something, that would be hard to say no to. At the same time, I do feel like the movie might benefit from a fresh voice or a fresh take or a fresh thought. Scott said that an additional film would be required to bridge the 30-year span written as the transpiration gap between the Prometheus sequel and Alien. As of August 1, 2012, Fox was pursuing a sequel with Scott, Numi Rapace, and Michael Fast Bender involved, and was talking to new writers in case Lindelof did not return. In December 2012, Lindelof ultimately chose not to work on the project. Early on Scott stated that the film would feature no xenomorphs, the beast is done, cooked. However Scott would make later statements that were contradictory, stating what is planned and confirming the xenomorphs' presence in the film. But ultimately the movie does not include the creatures, instead featuring the similar neomorphs and protomorphs. The initial screenplay was written by Dante Harper, but an extensive rewrite was done by screenwriter John Logan. Logan had previously worked with Scott on Gladiator. For Logan, the main concept was to combine the horror elements of Alien with the philosophical elements of Prometheus. He said, with Alien, Covenant, I just really wanted to write something that had the feel of the original Alien, because seeing that movie was one of the great events of my youth. It was so overpowering in terms of what it communicated to me and its implications, that when I started talking to Ridley about what became Alien, Covenant, I said, you know, that was a hell of a scary movie. I wanted to write a horror movie because the grand Guignol elements of Alien are so profound. We tried to recapture that with Alien, Covenant, while also trying to pay homage to the deeper implications of Prometheus. In terms of tone, pace, and how we chose to play this particular symphony, we wanted to create a really frightening movie. On September 24, Scott confirmed the film's title as Alien, Paradise Lost. In November 2015, Scott revealed the new title to be Alien, Covenant, with filming set to begin in February 2016 in Australia. An official logo, synopsis and release date were released on November 16, 2015. Equals 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 pre-production equals equals equals. In late August 2015, Scott confirmed that he had started scouting the locations for the film. In October 2015, the Australian government attracted the production of the film in Thor, Ragnarok to Australia by providing Adding $47.25 million in grants. Was Productions Limited, a subsidiary of 20th Century Fox, visited Teana, New Zealand on March 28, 2016 for a location scout, for filming in Fiordland. Equals 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 casting equals equals equals. In August 2015, it was announced that the film would star Rapace and Fassbender, while Rick Barnett was in talks to be cast in the film. That December Catherine Waterston was cast in the film for the lead role of Daniels, it will be Waterston's second film along 
alongside Fassbender, after the pair appeared in 2015's Steve Jobs, longtime collaborator with Scott, Darius Volsky was confirmed to serve as the film's cinematographer. In 2016, Ridley Scott stated that Numi Rapace would not reprise her role of Elizabeth Shaw. However, in June it was confirmed Rapace will reprise her role as Shaw and shoot weeks worth of scenes in Scott's film. In February 2016, Danny McBride, Demian Bashir, Jesse Smollett, Amy Simetz, Carmen Ayogo, Kali Hernandez, Billy Crudup, and Alexander England were reported to have joined the cast. In March 2016, newcomer Benjamin Rigby joined the cast. In December 2016, it was announced James Franco was cast in the film, as Captain Branson, the husband to Daniels and the captain of the Covenant. Equals 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 production design equals equals equals. In an article for Cinema Blend from May 2017 titled Mythbusters Adam Savage toured the set of Alien, Covenant, and It's Wonderful, Connor Schwertfeger and included a five-minute short video of Savage's discussion of several of the props and stage sets used in the production design for the filming of different scenes from the film. Equals 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 filming equals equals equals. Principal photography on the film began on April 4, 2016, at Milford Sound in Fiordland National Park, New Zealand. Filming wrapped on July 19, 2016. On November 18, 2016, additional photography was scheduled to take place at Leaves Den Studios in Hertfordshire. Effects houses Odd Studios and Creature NFX provided the film's makeup and animatronic creature effects respectively, while Australian-based effects house Animal Logic provided the film's digital visual effects. Approximately 30 people from Creature NFX worked on the project for almost six months building animatronics. Equals 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 finance equals equals equals. The film credits present four production companies as cooperating in the production and financing of the film listed as, from the United States, 20th Century Fox, Brandywine Productions and the film financing group TSG Entertainment, and from Britain Scott Free Productions. Equals equals music equals equals. The musical score for Alien, Covenant was written by Australian musician and composer Jed Kurzel. Initially Harry Gregson Williams was selected as the film's composer, but confirmed in November 2016 that he was no longer working on the film. Gregson Williams summarized the reasons for his departure from the project as a mixture of scheduling and creative issues, stating that schedules and one's expectations of scoring a film don't always fit and this one wasn't going to work out. During the first trailer's release in late 2016, rising Norwegian singer and songwriter Aurora was announced to have contributed to the official soundtrack. It was at this time that Kurzel was revealed as the replacement of Gregson Williams. Themes of Jerry Goldsmith's original score to Alien have been incorporated as well as Mark Strydenfeld's score to Prometheus. Equals equals release equals equals. Alien, Covenant premiered on May 4, 2017, at the Odeon Leicester Square in London. The film was released on May 10 in France, May 12 in Pakistan and on May 19 in the United States in 2D and IMAX 2D. It was originally set to be released on August 4 before being moved up by 20th Century Fox. On April 26, 2017, 20th Century Fox released Alien, Covenant in Utero, a virtual reality teaser for Alien, Covenant for the Oculus Rift and the Samsung Gear VR. The experience was produced by RSA, Fox Next VR, MPC, Mach 1, AMD Radeon, and Dell Alienware. The trailer is a first-person experience in which the viewer plays the role of a neomorph. The experience was executive produced by Scott and directed by David Carlack. Equals 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 box office equals equals equals. As of May 22, 2017, Alien, Covenant has grossed $39.5 million in the United States and Canada and $81.7 million in other countries for a worldwide total of $121.2 million, against a production budget of $97 million. In North America, the film was released alongside Everything, Everything and Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Holland was projected to gross around $40 million from 3,760 theaters during its opening weekend. It made $4.3 million from Thursday night previews at about 3,000 theaters and $15.4 million on its first day, which was below the $21.5 million Friday of Prometheus five years prior. It went on to open to $36.2 million, down 34 from Prometheus' debut but still finishing first at the box office and marking the second highest debut of the Canon series. Fox released the film in a number of international markets a week ahead of its domestic release. It was released in 34 markets where it debuted to $40.1 million, opening at number one in 19 
19 of them, its overall rank for the weekend was second behind the continued run of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. The top openings were in South Korea, $7.2 million, the UK, $6.4 million, France, $4.5 million, Australia, $3.1 million, and Mexico, $2.5 million. Equals 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 critical response equals equals equals. On review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 72 based on 250 reviews, and an average rating of 6.4, 10. The site's critical consensus reads, Alien, Covenant delivers another satisfying round of close quarters deep space terror, even if it doesn't take the saga in any new directions. On Metacritic, which assigns a normalized rating, the film has a score 66 out of 100, based 49 critics, indicating generally favorable reviews. On CinemaScore, audiences gave the film an average grade of B on an A plus to F scale, the same score earned by its predecessor. The film was praised for its visual aesthetic and design, cinematography, production design and the acting, with Michael Fassbender's performance as androids David and Walter receiving acclaim. However the plot, including the mix between monster violence and character motivations, drew a more mixed response. A. O. Scott of the New York Times notes, Alien, Covenant is an interesting movie, for all its interplanetary ranging, commits itself above all to the canny management of expectations. Writing for The Guardian, Peter Bradshaw gave the film a positive review, praising the performances of its actors and comparing it to other releases of the franchise, stating that the film is, a greatest hits compilation of the other Alien film's freaky moments. The paradox is that though you are intended to recognize these touches, you won't really be impressed unless you happen to be seeing them for the first time. For all this, the film is very capably made, with forceful, potent performances from Waterston and Fassbender. The very portentous screenplay, co-written by John Logan, Coriolanus, Skyfall, throws in references to Shelley and Byron, Wagner and Michelangelo, and lots of philosophizing about human origins and identity. In the meantime, the crew members pitted against the monstrous creatures are trying their darndest to blast them to kingdom come, just as they would in any run-of-the-mill sci-fi B-movie. He also emphasized that like previous films of the series, real-world logic should not be applied to the film, and instead you have to judge it by the standards of a fever dream or nightmare, a Freudian Jungian narrative where the thing you fear most is what happens to you. In New York Magazine, David Edelstein commented on David the Android as representing a new generation of monster villains in the tradition of Frankenstein stating, in Star Trek, that man-machine nexus was, hopeful. Here, there's some doubt about David's ultimate motives, which puts Alien, Covenant squarely in the tradition of the Terminator and Matrix movies. And, of course, the novel Frankenstein, which carried the subtitle The Modern Prometheus. No less than Stephen Hawking, who survives with the aid of machines, has predicted that we have 100 years to live before evolved machines take human imperfection as justification for wiping us all out. He also criticizes the overfamiliarity of the climax and underwritten characters. David, fatally, has the ability to create something Satan never had, and he will use that power only to destroy. He doesn't have any real need to rebel against his maker, since from the moment he became sentient, he knew he'd already won. He is indestructible, and determined determined to make creatures that imitate his drive for total domination. Equals 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 equals. In September 2015, Ridley Scott revealed he was planning two sequels to Prometheus, which would lead into the first Alien film, even adding, maybe there will even be a fourth film before we get back into the Alien franchise. In November 2015, Scott confirmed that Alien, Covenant would be the first of three additional films in the Alien prequel series, before linking up with the original Alien, and stated that the Prometheus sequels will reveal who created the Xenomorph Aliens. The screenplay for the third prequel film was written during production of Alien, Covenant and finished in 2017. Production is scheduled to begin in 2018. In March 2017, Scott said, If you really want a franchise, I can keep cranking it for another six. I'm not going to close it down again. No way. In April, Scott announced that Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5 had been cancelled. In a later interview he said he would have participated as a producer, but that 20th Century Fox had decided not to pursue the project. Equals equals see also equals equals. List of films featuring extraterrestrials. Equals equals references equals 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 external links equals equals official website alien covenant at the internet movie database alien covenant at al movie alien covenant at box office mojo alien covenant at film affinity alien covenant at metacritic alien covenant at rotten tomatoes